Lasser <laughs> Uh, this, this bill, we should be addressing uh, key elements of uh, the, the welfare code uh, and, and trying to ensure that those who are uh, weakest or most dependent on uh, welfare, that we would have been taking the opportunity which we have uh, to address uh, those issues. I don't think we've gone far enough. I don't think uh, we took the opportunity. Um, so I, 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 I will raise a number of those issues in, in particular, but one uh, which I believe uh, should have been uh, addressed is the whole question of the dietary allowance. Um, yes, you can uh, receive some type of payment towards it through the supplementary welfare allowance, uh, but like many other cuts which occurred under the last government, uh, they have been continued in, 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 into this uh, term. So the last government, the Minister uh, for Social Welfare, uh, Joan Burton, cut the, wealth, well, the dietary allowance in, in, in total. It was reintroduced in a, in a very uh, strange method rather than uh, bringing it back as a standalone one which uh, could then address and could look at uh, the specific cases on a case-by-case -case basis uh, rather than clogging up the supplementary welfare allowance uh, system uh, as, a, as it has done. Uh, the other area which I believe a lot more could be done uh, is the whole area of CE. Um, I think we should have uh, used the opportunity, especially given uh, the, the increase in employment, uh, but there is a cohort in our society who are dependent on CE uh, to get the training to go back into work. Yes, uh, there, there is still uh, a legacy cut in terms of the training and ma 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 maintenance allowance uh, for CE participants. And I, again, I, un I know that you can make the appeal to try and get uh, the extra 500 uh, or, or so per participant if you're in a CE scheme. That's not good enough. It should be uh, automatic, especially given that many of the courses uh, that uh, the, the, the groups who are uh, overseeing uh, CE participants uh, are, are trying to get them on, whether it's a safe pass, manual handling pass and the likes cost more than uh, the, 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 the current rate and they end up sending in an extra note looking for uh, the, the extra funding which is usually given but given that there is an understanding that the cost is going to be more for the courses which will give them uh, the, the, the skills to go back to work then it should be re reversed the cut that was there uh, given the times that we're in and given the fact that uh, as much as I can see, there seems to be uh, a reduction in the, the, the numbers in, in, in CE. Um, and speaking of CE, kind of, there is the whole issue that was raised by uh, a, a deputy before me, I think it was Deputy Caleri, um, uh, the, the, the question of CE supervisors. Um, this isn't the question, it's not part of your legacy, it's part of your previous government's legacy uh, 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 and ones before that. That the, the, the situation of CE supervisors has never been fully addressed. Kind of the state set the hours, they set the, the rates, they couldn't get any overtime, uh, yet kind of nobody ever made proper provision for a pension. And I, I, I know there, there has been discussions uh, uh, and uh, I, I, I haven't involved it because I, I didn't want to uh, stick my two tuppence worth in the middle of it, but by the looks of it, uh, the, the discussions are now faltering again. Um, and I, I hope that you and your department will provide the, the, the required proposals which the unions were awaiting and that, kind of that the whole issue can be addressed. And it's a pity it wasn't addressed because, again, here is a social welfare bill which could have had 
the provisions in it. That is the idea of the Social Welfare Bill. So it's, once again, we have missed an opportunity, and that that's, that's a lot of what I am I'm, I'm saying on this. Uh, the, the addressing the child benefit, again, kind of a, a, a change which happened a number of years ago, I can't remember when, kind of where you, st you have situations where uh, ch children, children who are 18, kind of, who are still at school, kind of don't get child benefit for them. That is a ridiculous situation. That might have been fine 20 years ago when kind of, uh, um, the vast majority of secondary schools only did five years. Virtually every single school in the country kind of has a transition year, which means children are in school to 18 and 19. Uh, yet the parents are receiving no child benefit. They are regarded as a child in, in many ways. Speaking of kind of uh, dis discrimination, uh, one of the key ones which I found her her horrific over the years was the, the, the social welfare for those who are under 26. The fact that uh, on age grounds, and I, I still believe uh, it's discrimination, the Equality Tribunal or uh, the authority should have uh, made a finding that it was discrimination on, on, on age grounds that young people kind of were not in receipt of full social welfare payments on an equal footing for the o o others. Uh, that still continues today, I know, and I acknowledge the changes you've made and that there is hopefully a gradual move towards equality once again, but it is not uh, close, close enough. Uh, for tax purposes, uh, people who are 18 paying full tax uh, are, are treated as individuals. For social welfare purposes, if you're at home, your uh, parents' income is taken as means rather than your own means. And there are many people who are uh, stuck because of the housing crisis, but even people who aren't necessarily stuck, who are at home, uh, who are now looking and saying, well, if I can get HAP, then I'll get my full payment, because that's, that's the change that's happening. Kind of, it shouldn't be kind of one or the other. If you are 18, you are a, a, an adult in the eyes of the law, and it should be for all purposes, and that includes social welfare payment. You're, you shouldn't be dependent, based on the social welfare code, on your, your par parental income, um, uh, and uh, that, that should change uh, immediately. If somebody has too much income, whether it's the parent or whatever, they should, they should be taxed appropriately. It shouldn't be the, the, the child be penalised. There is nothing to prove that parents will give uh, the difference between what they get uh, at home, whether it's 100 euro or, 100 and, or sorry, 112 euro, or kind of when it's means test is re, re, less of that. There's nothing to say that the parents are making up the shortfall between uh, the full social welfare rate or not. In fact, it's probably the opposite. They're probably uh, trying to encourage the, 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 the young person uh, out, out of the home. Uh, another cut that happened, and uh, it continuously comes up, is there was a clothing, grant, clothing allowance grant again. You have people going to, co to community welfare officers. Um, I understand some of the logic behind getting rid of it, but if you, uh, most of the old people that I've been talking to in recent years, uh, they have been uh, adamant that it was one of the payments that they fully respected understood and utilised fully, especially coming up to, 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 to key occasions, whether it was uh, the w winter time for extra, extra heavy clothing or kind of a, a, at Easter where there was a cha change of clothes required. Uh, and and, and the, the, the older people in, in particular, and uh, just the, the increase in fuel allowance, I, I think we have to do a lot, lot more to protect those older people who are living alone are who are dependent on fuel allowance. Uh, the fuel poverty uh, in my constituency in particular is horrendous. Uh, and week in, week out, I have been knocking on doors and you find people who, are, who have a plan. I will stick on the, the heating for an hour at 8 o'clock and in the meantime I have to sit there shivering away uh, 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 and hope uh, that I don't catch pneumonia or the likes. Uh, there is a lot, lot more, Minister, that could have been done. It is not done on this time, uh, and I hope that uh, there will be a, a supplementary social welfare bill uh, in, in the near future which addresses some of those issues.